Yeah, the college football season is in serious jeopardy. That's something we've talked about as a reality for months. But reports last night from Sports Illustrated and other major outlets have spilled into this evening. The Big Ten released an updated football schedule last week. Five days later, the conference is considering postponing or canceling fall sports altogether. Big Ten presidents reportedly over the weekend met to discuss fall sports. The Big Ten is saying officially no vote took place, but according to multiple outlets, they gathered preferences and it was a 12 to 2 vote in favor of canceling the fall seasons. Iowa and Nebraska were the two who voted to play, according to Dan Patrick. ESPN reports the Big Ten is pushing other conferences to work together. And while the SEC says it will be patient, there's growing belief the Power Five conferences may cancel fall sports. Jim Harbaugh wrote in a letter expressing why he believes there should be a season. This isn't easy. This is hard, he said. It is proven that the conduct, discipline, and structure within our program have led to these stellar results. We respect the challenge that the virus has presented. However, we will not cower from it. We have developed a great prototype for how we can make this work and provide the opportunity for players to play. If you are transparent and follow the rules, he said, this is how it can be done. Michigan State AD Bill Beekman said today if football is canceled, all fall sports are canceled. He said if that happens, MSU's athletic department could lose up to $85 million. The plans continue to shift every minute. Nebraska's head coach, Scott Frost, he said just moments ago if the Nebraska season is canceled by the Big Ten, they're going to find other teams to play elsewhere. They're trying to find every way to make sure football happens. Players are reacting across the country. We will continue to follow this moving target and the contrasting reports as we see things unfold. Alan, Glenda, 